So over the last couple months, I've been talking to my uncle in Calgary. He was a Calgary transit driver, but over the last year or two, he's been getting interested in real estate, obviously talking to me and just exploring options in Calgary. He wanted more control of his time and his income, like most people. So I told him like, hey, get into real estate. And at that time, he decided to actually get his license. So maybe six months ago, he actually decided to completely leave transit and go into real estate as a realtor. And over the last two, three months, he's been getting more interested on the investment side of things. So he found this land deal, called me and said, hey, you know, give me some advice here. I want to buy this deal. I feel like I can actually buy it because I know the owner and I can resell it on the market for a higher price. And so instead of assigning it or double ending it or sorry, double closing it, he'll just take possession, pay the land transfer tax because he's buying it so low. So I advised him. Well, what's the property worth right now? What is other land selling for right now? Why do you feel that it's below market value? You know, what are other uh, properties in the area selling for? Because if a developer buys it, they're going to want to know what other uh, new builds are going for, other infill construction, what could it sell for? And these are all things that I have experience with, we've done. So I advised them on this. Now, my uncle's second problem was other than finding the after repair value, he just didn't have the money at the at the time to actually close on this. So I told him, hey, you know what? You can probably find a private lender or an institutional hard money lender that will front you the money. You know, so he actually, through a couple of different calls, he found somebody that was willing to give him 100% of the cash to go out and buy this property. The only problem that my uncle didn't like was that it was 14% return per annum. And I told him, hey, if you're buying this, just make sure that the term is open so he was able to negotiate it so it was a six month term but it was open meaning he could pay it off at any given time so he went and he actually ended up buying and closing on this property paying i think it was a 1.5 percent fee to the lender and then he bought it closed it and because he was the agent he actually listed it as the listing agent he put it on the market and within a month he got an offer where he actually brought the buyer too. So not only did he make uh, the profit from the sale, which was about $56,000. So he actually pocketed 56 grand, but he double ended the commission. So because he was the listing agent and he was the buyer's agent, he found the buyer. And again, he disclosed all this to the buyer. He actually made money, not just on the commission, on the double ending, but also on the profit. So this just goes to show you you know, being in real estate, you need to do things wisely. And the more information, the more knowledge, the more tools and strategies you have, this is going to be the difference of you making a little bit of money and you making a lot of money, right? So him, again, talking to me, I have a bit of experience, obviously, with investing. We've been doing it for a long time. I was able to have advise him of that. And that's almost a year of salary that he would have made at his transit job. So now he's not, he's not just seeing the power of being a realtor and, and making commission checks, but also as an investor, right? So for the takeaway for you guys is, if you're also a realtor or you even have a job, start looking for opportunities in the market where you can locate below market value deals, whether off the market or on the market, privately from a seller, where you can look at something where you can add value or you can even just buy it. And if you buy it low enough, just resell it on the market. You know, I'm super excited for him and I'm looking forward to seeing how the next 12, 18 months looks for him. And I hope you guys found some value from this video.